Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to fade in and out your tracks in Logic Pro 10. So first what we're going to do is open up an empty project, and press create. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use an audio file from my loops folder. So let's go over loops, and find an audio file. Alright, let's go ahead and play our track. Alright, so as you can tell already by listening to it, the start, it just starts off all of a sudden, and when it ends, it just cuts off immediately. So let's say we want to fade into our song, and we also want to fade out our song. So to fade out the song, or our clip, all we got to do is highlight our audio file. Now we go over here to our selection tool, and we go and go to fade tool. Alright, now fade tool, all we got to do is go to the corners, or the edges, sorry, of our audio file, and then we'll see this arrow over here, these two arrows. All we gotta do is click and drag, and we can just change the amount of fading we want. Let's say we wanna make it just a little bit. And we can also do it as well, the fade in. So let's fade it in a bit. All right, let's go listen to our track. And yeah, that's pretty much how to fade in Logic Pro 10. Pretty easy, right? All you gotta do is the fade tool and just fade to however you like. Now we can also change the um, the speed of our fade by making it the fade speeding it up and as well as the fade out slowing it down. So to use those special effects, all we gotta do is go to our inspector window in the right hand, sorry, the left hand corner over here. Now under region, we're gonna go to more. So we click on more. Now we'll see this fade out and fade in. So for the fade in, let's click on it. Now we can go to speed up. And in fade out, we click on it and go to slow down. All right, now we can tell that our fade, it turned red. Let's go ahead and listen to this. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about fading in Logic Pro 10. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you liked it, feel free to leave a comment down below, give this video a nice thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!